Hi there, well today we're going to create a very simple advent calendar. You'll see I've already found the image I'm going to use for the background for my advent calendar. You'll also notice looking at the side of my screen that I've already put in place a couple of pictures and the more keenly eyed of you will notice that I already have in box one. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a new box. Now the way this works is to insert a shape, an object, a bit of word art, anything at all actually. I'm going to use a shape and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here and I'm going to find the shape I want to use. In this case I'm going to go I think for the five pointed star. I'm going to hold shift so that it draws a regular five pointed star. I'm just going to drop it where I want it to appear. I'm going to fill the shape, uh, something like yellow and I'm going to give it a number by simply clicking on it. Press the number two. You can go down to edit text and stuff, but just hit the number two words. Now, you might not be able to see the number two there. It's very, it's white against that background. So let's just make it black, makes it stand out a little bit more. And now what we're going to do is we're going to link this to the third slide. So we simply on the object, right hand mouse button, hyperlink. We're going to pick a place in this document. We're going to look down the slide numbers and we'll see that this is going to be in slide number three. Okay, and we simply hit OK. We then can come down to slide number three. We can take the picture we've got off the internet, which can be anything you want it to be, but I'm going to use this. I'm going to put Santa in there, and that's good. It'd be good if I could then go back. The easiest way to do that is to simply insert an auto shape in. And the auto shape we're going to use is for the home button. And you'll see the action buttons home down the bottom. Drag it. If you want it to be regular in size, hold down the shift key. It then automatically says hyperlink to first slide. That's good. Hit OK. We're done. Now, it'd be quite nice if it said something, I don't know, like day two or something, or second day or something like that. So we can simply go insert in a bit of word art. And what we're going to do is... You can go look for something Christmassy. I'm just going to grab this and put day two. Okay, and again, you can customize the background, etc. So, if I view the slideshow, you'll see now we've got slide one and the newly created slide two. There we go, and we've got the home button down here where if we take it back to us, it goes back up to it. Now, that's nice. But I've got to be thinking that you can do much better than me. And it might be quite good if there were some animation effects, transition effects. If there were sound effects, maybe music playing, maybe jingle bells. Um, it could be anything at all. Just something to make it a little bit better. You'll see that in Santa's hands here, we've got bells. So maybe go looking for some sleigh bells online. Insert those in there. We'll just add that little bit of air to it. By the time you've finished, you will have... Lots and lots of pictures all the way down, and different side uh, different puts it, bits in it. If you're going to be putting in um, windows in the middle here, <coughs> excuse me again, there's nothing to stop you from just inserting in a shape, and when you put the shape in, just either keep it at that color, or to format it a different shape, different color, different look, make it look 3D, give it a button. Um, do whatever you want to. I'm just going to set it for a sort of button look. So now we've got these sort of press buttons. When I'm going to click on these buttons. And again, it's a matter of hitting three on that one. And we can simply press button three and it'll take us down the third slide. So to do that, right hand mouse button, hyperlink, take us down here. We're now going to go, this is slide number four. Okay. Go to slide four. Oops, my bad. Insert. A picture. Um, I think it'd be quite good then if we did something a wee bit different. Um, let's go for. Uh, we've got Santa, Santa, uh, the, the day three, third, third of December snow. That's what we all hope for on the third of December. Okay, so, oh, nice winter scene. Um, we put something in here. Ah, quite nice. A little fox in snow. Uh, on the wrong side, because I'm not entirely sure how, but on the wrong side, insert it in. Okay. Press 
put it in position. Remember to ans insert in your <coughs> smart shape the action button we're going to put back in, and it's a little bit bigger this time, so you know what, let's make it a little bit bigger. There's nothing to stop you from formatting that as well. If you don't like the colour, then change it. Fiddle about with it, get what you want it to appear, how you want it to look. Okay, but just use the same icon in each of them. It makes it an awful lot easier for the user to find the way back. And there we go, this is now an advent calendar. Okay, and again, animations, effects, special effects, all done by you.